In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to use the Fieldmaster channel scanner to monitor multiple signals over a period of time. The first set of signals we'll look at using the channel scanner is the FM broadcast spectrum. And here I'm in the spe standard spectrum analyzer mode, just monitoring all of the spectrum from 88 to 108 megahertz. I'm in the London area, so we've got a mixture of BBC transmissions, commercial radio, and there's actually a couple of uh, pirate radio stations in here as well. To look at this in the channel scanner, I select the channel scanner mode. When I enter the channel scanner mode, the first thing I need to do is add all the channels that I want to view. So I select the, select the add channel button and I can name the channels. So for example, I know one of the radio stations is called Capital FM. So I'll enter that name for this channel. That station is at 95.8 megahertz. And because it's broadcast FM, I need to enter a channel span of 75 kilohertz. I don't need to adjust the limits because I will not be using those today. So I add that channel to my list. And then I go in and add all of the other frequencies that I want to monitor. Typically, I would have used the marker in the broadcast spectrum mode to identify the frequencies. When I've entered all the channels I want to view, we go into the bar chart mode. And here I'm monitoring 20 channels in the FM broadcast spectrum. And you can see the channel power for each of those channels is being updated about once a second. We can see the channel power for the individual channels at that uptake rate. And here's the name of the radio station that we are tuned into for the fine de detailed data. So we're getting channel power and averaging and rolling average data as well. I can also switch from a bar chart mode to a strip chart mode. In the strip chart mode, we have a thousand data points. So that's about 15 minutes worth of data at this update rate. And we can monitor the change in level of any individual channel over a period of time. So if we take uh, this channel here, there seems to be a bit of change in level. I can expand that out. And here we can see that there has indeed been some change in level of that transmitter over a period of time. I can pick out any individual channel. So the signal here at the, the bottom, this is my local radio station, Radio Jackie, as it shows me here, and we can see that's a pretty consistent level. If I go back to the bar chart, we can also see that that is the strongest signal that I'm receiving in this location. In the file menu, there's a CSV logging feature, so we can log all of the channel power data continuously for as long as we want to. It's a very small amount of data for each uh, cycle log, so we can log hours worth of data. I want to show you one other way that we can add channel frequencies in the channel scanner. If I go into the channel mode here, we can select different wireless standards. So I've currently got it set to Tetra, and the instrument has pre-programmed channel plans for the uh, internationally recognized Tetra bands. So in this local area, the uh, Tetra signals are in the 390 to 400 megahertz band. I can enter the individual channel number that I want to start monitoring. And what I actually need to do is set the span to 20 kilohertz, changing from the 75 kilohertz that we were using before. And then um, I want to monitor 20 channels. So if I press add and close, that automatically sets up for me the Tetra frequency plan. And I can see here the two Tetra base stations that are transmitting in my local area. So this is useful because firstly, you can validate that the two uh, legal Tetra base stations are transmitting on frequency and on power, but you can also monitor for interference on the other Tetra channels that are in the area, but in this case are not used. So I hope I've shown you how easy it is to set up the channel scanner to monitor either known channel plan wireless standards or individual frequencies that are of a particular of interest to you. 
response of the channel scanner is very fast and there's lots of capability in the bar chart and the strip chart mode to monitor the signals over a period of time and to log the results. Thank you for watching.